Hello, my name is Martha Perales Carrizales. I am the daughter of Alonso Perales, and I have something to say to share with you. With the works of Alonso Perales, you'll be learning of the civic leader and the political leader. I wanted to tell you something about the man, the person who he was. Growing up, we only knew Alonso Perales as daddy. D-A-D-D-Y is what we used to shout as he'd arrive and he'd carry us around the house. He would place his hat on our heads and he would chase us around the house. We only knew that at the end of the day, he would be there for us. He would hold us tightly until it was time for bed. When he was late, I remember many a time, he would park his car in the driveway. He would make his way around and rouse us up by scratching the screams and making gurgling sounds. We would jump out of bed. He would have a hearty laugh and we would run to hug and brace him and kiss him. When he died, our whole world changed. It was only after his death that we began to learn from our relatives who would recount his exploits in his day-to-day -day world. We learned of the founding of the LULAC. We learned of his diplomatic missions representing the United States. We learned of his Nicaraguan connections, his participation in the United Nations Conference, his timeless efforts to speak on behalf of the oppressed, and his radio broadcasts on politics and religion. He was tireless in his pursuit for fairness for all. We only knew that about his works were packed in boxes, were stored, that until now they would be never seen nor disturbed. We, the family of Alonso Perales, are so proud and humbled that we are instruments in preserving the legacy of Alonso Perales and the true early history of the Mexican-American struggles. We are also happy that the University of Houston took the steps to house his works, to publish them so that others may peruse them. History can now be a witness to his dying, unselfish efforts, to the efforts of other leaders. Daddy would be proud, not for his own recognition, but for the fact that now his ideals and his principles will be heard and published. His dreams and his aspirations will live on, creating new foundations and destroying old barriers. The day we turned his documents over to the university was the dawn of a new beginning. Others will now learn from the past and how those same principles live on today. It suffices to say that my brother's heart and mine pound with pride. I am just as certain that our brother, Alonso Jr., is cheering from heaven with his wonderful news. Hear ye, hear ye, Perales will take his rightful place in history. Let us celebrate the valorous efforts that are the foundation of our Hispanic progress. My mother, his valiant wife and collaborator, is not here, but she was instrumental in storing and preserving the documents from his death May of 1960 to her death in September of 2000. She's no longer here, but I want to give her a voice. And I'm doing so by reciting a poem she wrote for him, for her beloved Alonso. She wrote this April 14, 1992. Pasaste por mi vida como una exclamación. Ante hermosos recuerdos, te rezo una oración. Compartimos la vida en una hermosa unión y navegamos juntos los mares de la ilusión. Yo vivo siempre triste pensando en el recuerdo de lo que fuiste mío, mas no puede ser eterno. Tú fuiste, te fuiste de mi lado con santa resignación. Dejando en mi pecho destrozado el corazón. Mas sin poder remediarlo, mi alma llora y calla, murmurando una oración. Pero 
Dios así dispuso, y tu hora te llamó a su gloria celestial como premio por tus obras en este mundo mortal. <música>